everyone and welcome back to my zodiac series today i'm doing the scorpio inspired makeup tutorial so i'm just starting with the benefit um brow in deep medium it's like a pomade type thing it kind of lengthens the hairs in my opinion and then i'm going in with the l'oreal brow stylist definer in dark brown i'm seeing the pain seeing the pleasure nobody but you body but me body but us and following that i'm just taking a little bit of my shape tape concealer and cleaning up the brows before we move on to the eyeshadow now that this is on there i'm just gonna blend it out with my damp beauty blender so now I'm going in with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and just priming my eye. I'm going to use my finger to apply it and just put it all over the lid. And then I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and taking Bay to set that um, primer. It's a paradise and, it's a war zone. and then I'm going to be going in with Sandalwood as my crease transition shade. It's in the lower right hand corner there in the palette. You see I'm just buffing into the crease. I'm going to build up the color a little bit, go back in a few times, just so it can be seen once we add the darker shadow. Now I'm taking Bossy and applying it to the outer and inner corners of the eye. And I'm going to go back in and really build up this color. And I'm also going to be blending it out in the crease, as you can see right here. So in, out, in, out, and adding more pigment to the outer and inner corners because we're going to be putting a textured shadow on the center of the lid. Now taking a bit of henna, I'm just blending Bossy and Sandalwood together. It's a little bit darker than Sandalwood. I'm going to be taking the textured shadow in Trust Fund and applying it with my finger. The textured shadows are best applied with the finger. The brush will not pick up the product in the same way. But I am using a brush to just make sure the product is laying flat on the lid. So then taking Sephora Lash Craft Mascara to lengthen in volume. I'm applying that to my lashes and then taking um, drugstore lashes. Not even drugstore. They're just like these dollar lashes. And applying them there. They're in style either 102 or wispy. But I'll find a retailer that sells them for you guys. And so that's the finished eye portion of this look. I will be moving on to the face and showing you how I achieved that part of this look. For the face, I'm going to be taking first this Origins Eye Brightening Cream and putting it under my eyes just to eliminate the tiredness. It depuffs, it brightens, and I like to use this in the mornings when I'm wearing no makeup. And it really just makes me feel awake. Then I'm taking the Touch and Soul Pour No More Primer, just one pump of that, and applying it all over my face to act as the base for the foundation that I will be applying momentarily. For foundation, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in um, Buff Beige, Bisque Beige, I don't even know. And I did do a video on this, so I'll link it for you guys. It was a first impressions video. I showed you my favorite way that I like to apply it. What's my favorite concealer to use with it. And I'm just blending it into my face with the damp beauty blender. The lighting was a bit off in this video, so it shows that my face is lighter than my neck. But in real life, it wasn't. And you'll see that in a few clips where like the lighting decides to have like a spasm and transition. So now I'm just adding concealer under my eyes. This is a Tarte Shape Tape. And then here is where it looks really bright, which is, it isn't this bright in real life. So just applying that where I normally highlight under the eye, chin, nose, forehead, Cupid's bow. And I'm going to be blending it out again with a damp beauty blender. To 
to set the under eye, I'm going to be taking Kat Von D powder and translucent. This is my favorite translucent powder at the moment. And just pressing it into the under eye area and taking the excess on the rest of the parts where I highlighted my face. Um, now I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and applying it to my cheeks. For blush today, I'm going to be going into this Lorac Refined Romance Palette and applying blush. I wasn't anticipating the pigmentation because I swatched it and it didn't seem that pigmented but then I used a brush and it like deposited so much product onto my cheek but I blended it out. Now I'm taking the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray, applying it to my face and I'm going to be applying the highlighter on top of that. This is Wet n Wild Press Petals. I really like this highlight. It really mixes well with any product on my face so I'm just highlighting the normal parts of my face that I'd highlight I'm taking it on my brow bone with a smaller brush now I'm going back in with sandalwood and applying it to my lower lash line just blending it in there then I'm taking henna and putting that as well on the lower lash line kind of creating an ombre effect and then finally bossy to just darken up that lower lash line and really mix those shadows so that they ma match the upper lids and then I'm taking a bit of mascara again and applying it to the lower lashes before finishing up the face so I'm taking that highlighter again and putting it on my inner corners to brighten up the eye and then taking NYX London soft matte lip cream as my lip color thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope to get the next sign up as soon as possible because I know you guys have been waiting for those and I've kind of dragged it out so I'm definitely going to get back into finishing up my zodiac series thank you for watching the video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys